What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, we're missing a few rigs, one and two. So we had our seven R9 380 rig here. We had five R9 or five 470s down here. Our test bench has no card in it. And we finally, after all this time, have an eight inch exhaust installed on this sucker. And that tent has 19 GPUs in it right now with plenty of airflow to grow. So let's go ahead and discuss a little bit. Uh, so this was the big, big change we added. The, this is the eight inch Vivo Sun inline fan, does around 800 CFM. Uh, I went ahead and added a piece of plywood here. There's actually a metal bar inside uh, the tent here to help support this. And we have it running inside into the, this tent, the only eight inch spot on this Vivo Sun is right here in the bottom right hand corner. All the other ones are six inch. So we have that running here. It is a variable speed. It is currently, if we were to say, it is between medium and low right now. And then runs up, over. I need to replace this rope with a, they call it a yo-yo. I, I just got them in, where are they? Here they are. So I have to install another one of these. Take a look right there. It's actually pretty slick. Come on, Vivo Sun 8th inch rope hanger. Um, and we actually have two of these already. I need to add two more. You can see I got one right up there. And this yellow rope, we're gonna go ahead and replace. I'm gonna put two of these yo-yos in place, uh, but it runs up and then over and out. We have an eight inch on the left and our original six inch on the right. I'm gonna pick, put a picture up on the screen right now that I took with my cell phone of what the outside of the house looks like. Uh, you can see that on the right hand side is the eight inch. The left hand side is the six inch. The right hand side the air coming out of that, even on low, is insane. Like, I put this on high, it is ridiculous. Re like, it's too much, it's too much air. So let's get back to our tent. So we installed that, and I tried to make the least amount of drastic curves as possible in that. As for our six inch, I went ahead and moved our six inch over. It used to be over this way, and I moved it over here, and I actually moved the entire tent to the right because I wanted the six inch to be a little bit less of such a hard 90 for the ductwork coming down. And then I put a uh, collar on it and extended it because I needed the length into the tent right now. So we have a six inch on the left hand side, currently on uh, medium and for the variable speed. And on the right hand side, top right now, we have our eight inch which is between low and medium. Uh, if we take a look at our tent right now, you can see that we do have quite a bit of negative pressure. Not a significantly ton, but a decent amount, which is okay. We currently have this six inch opening open. We have this mesh uh, open here. On this side, we have the mesh open there and the six inch as well. So that's really all we have right now for our intake. Uh, for this tent. Uh, I'm super excited guys. I've been waiting like two weeks for that to come in uh, I've been literally talking to Red Fox crypto and I'm like, yep FedEx is delayed again Yep, FedEx is delayed again, and I've been putting off this video so many nights in order to do this um, So this has been fun. We not only built this out tonight. It's been about three hours. We got some good battle wounds cut my finger all the way down uh, done quite a number but uh, we then went ahead, powered down a handful of rigs, and we put them in here. We still have room for improvement. There's some things I wanna critique and some things I wanna change. Uh, before I go ahead and open this up, I do wanna show you what's next. So what's next for our tent? So some of you guys have seen these already. These are in six inch intake boxes. I opened this one up to show you guys that it has a Merv filter that you can just go ahead and take out. And uh, my plan is, is to take out our AC unit in the next two weeks when it's cold enough outside to do this. 
and we're gonna put a plywood here, just like we did up here, wrapped in contractor plastic, and we're gonna install these two vents on the outside, this one and this one. They'll come directly into that in, inside of the house. They'll run to six inch duct work into our filter box. They'll go through our filter, come out the other side, and then we're gonna put one of them right here, and we're gonna have the other one come right here, and then I'm gonna close off these ducts. So literally, the negative pressure of all this suction is going to pull air from outside the house through our intake system with the vents. So it's gonna be a lot and it may be too restrictive. I don't know yet, we'll have to see. I may have to run a hybrid. I may have to run both of those and also our side panels there, we'll have to see. But the nice thing is, at night, it's in the 50s right now in Pennsylvania. During the day, it's 60 to 70s. But in the next few weeks, it's gonna to start to get cooler and cooler. And I wanna conti continue to operate this tent the way we are. I don't wanna run a window AC unit anymore if necessary down here, uh, which will be great. But let's go ahead and open this up. I know that's what you guys are interested in seeing. Um, Please leave comments down below on anything that I discussed so far. Why did I do this versus this? Uh, why did you choose this versus this? I am gonna go ahead and put a full parts list out for everything down below. So the Vivo Sun tent that I'm using, the ductwork that I'm using from AC Infinity, the Vivo Sun eight inch uh, inline fan, the Vivo Sun six inch inline fan, um, the Fantech filter boxes, the uh, vents that I've used. I'll put all of that, even the yo-yos, those yo-yo strings, I'll put those, uh, the string units, I'll put those as well. So check those out down below, guys, if you guys do wanna uh, get yourself one and pick one up. Alrighty, guys, so let's go over what exactly we have in here. Disregard some of the temps, as I do wanna close up the tent and let it run for a little while. So up top here, we have one 1200 watt HP server power supply. We have a 750 watt server power supply and another 1200 watt server uh, power supply. All three of those are powering 11 RX 470s with one RX 570. All of these cards are mining Ravencoin right now and connected to this motherboard, which is a B250 mining motherboard. Uh, in addition to that, we just have an EVGA over here, 650 watt power supply, and that's just powering the motherboard. That's what we had available to us. Uh, we are running the GPU uh, risers, 64 gigabyte solid state drive there as well. And we are running all of the GPU risers in here from gpurisers.com. And that's what you're seeing that's lighting up here. All of the uh, PCI adapter cards actually have a red LED light to signify that they are connected. Uh, so these new ones are really, really sweet. So Ravencoin, all, all of these, these do about 150 mega hash total, give or take, you know, it fluctuates on Ravencoin. Each of these anywhere between 12 to 14 mega hash each, and it does vary, as you guys know. Down below here, we do have one 1200 watt power supply there. We are running our HP motherboard out of an HP business tower with two PCI adapter cards. We have seven total cards actually on these splitters, a four on one splitter and three on another. And these are our R9380s. We have four on this side and we have three on this side, ranging from a variety of ASUS to three power colors to Gigabyte to an XFX uh, R9 in here. We do have a switch down below as well, uh, and we do have a PDU down here too. And uh, everything wires out the back side that you can see there, and then the whole rest of the tent is sealed off. So we have 19 total cards right now in our tent. Um, I've been really, really happy with the temps. I've actually been playing with the variable speed, trying to get the most minimal amount of variable, like a speed, your CFM possible 
to keep this up and running uh, as expected. I don't wanna to go too crazy because I am sucking the air out of my basement at the end of the day, which is creating a lot of negative pressure, but I do wanna go ahead and make sure the cards stay cool. So I do have all the cards on 65% fan speed. I think that's a great modest uh, percent. I shouldn't ever have to make them any faster. I'd rather keep them like that and then like turn up the eight inch or the six inch uh, inline fan if needed. Um, which is a great opportunity with that. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and close the tent up for 15 minutes and we're gonna swing back around and check to see what our temps are in here. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. Uh, what I did wanna mention earlier is this AC unit is not actually on the compressor, the AC compressor isn't on. This unit is on and the fan is on high, but it's not actually cooling any air, it's just pulling in air from outside. So the air in our basement is, and the temperature is just being supplied through this unit right now. So keep that in mind when you think about like what the temperature is in the basement here. It's probably 75, I don't know, 70, 75 right now, we'll have to see. But let's go ahead and open this up and see what our temperatures are. Okay, so on the bottom here, we have 85, that lets you know. We have 97 in the middle. We have 101 above our cards and 104 at the top. That's pretty dang good right there. And we still have the ability to crank these suckers up and uh, cool these off even more. And as I am really excited, guys, to add the intake system in, and then, you know, what pulling 30 and uh, 30, 40 degree temperatures into this tent in the middle of winter. Uh, the one thing I'll have to really keep an eye on though during that process is is moisture. Like, what is what does that look like? Like, what's going to happen? You know, when that cold air comes in and and, and the whole deal. So. Future videos, guys, future videos, we'll get into it. We'll kind of see what, what we got going on. Uh, but yeah, that's an update on our tent. I am so happy that we're finally able to fully utilize the tent. There's definitely room for more growth. I am debating on swapping out the motherboards here and putting in RevTech motherboards into the tent, which the RevTech boards, if you guys recall, they actually hang just like the GPUs do. That'll increase airflow coming through the tent and that'll also allow me to populate this area of the tent full of GPUs. I mean, I could fit another three, six, seven, eight. So we could do, we have, we have 19 now and uh, we could probably fit a total of 24 or more GPUs, maybe 24 to, I don't know, 24 to 28 maybe GPUs total in here. Uh, we're really gonna have to see, but my goal was to get my, my hottest cards in here. Hottest cards in my farm in, in the grow tent, which we've accomplished that today. Well, thank you guys very much for joining me. I do appreciate it. As I said, I'm gonna put links down below to everything I've used in this video. So if you guys do wanna go ahead and pick your own setup. Other than that, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.